Hi there, this is Charles with CoverTech. Today we're looking at what happens to the slipperiness of a paver when you seal it. I'm often asked, you know, if I use a sealer, will it make the paver more slippery? So uh, we've uh, prepared a, a number of pavers here so we can look at the uh, impact of sealing a paver in terms of slip resistance. This first paver, uh, one half is not sealed so we've got that as our control and then this second half has been sealed with a stain our wet look with a color shot creates a nice stain for the paver so we look at those two and compare the slip resistance uh, same thing here this paver has been sealed half of it with a solvent sealer something that you'd get you know from Home Depot typical solvent based sealer and then this is our strong seal wet look our water based sealer so we'll compare those two and see what happens uh, <coughs> when they're wet in terms of slipperiness. And then uh, lastly here I have a paver that's again half of it sealed with our Glaze Guard Plus. That's our sealer with a slip resistant additive. You can't really see it but if you feel it it's a, uh, got an anti-slip additive in there. And then this is our premium sealer. That's our penetrating sealer. So no film on the surface it penetrates down. So again, we're going to look and see the difference in terms of slipperiness. Okay, so in order to measure the slipperiness of the uh, paver, we're going to use this slip meter, the ASM 925. And it uh, actually measures the friction, the dynamic coefficient of friction, or DCOF as we call it. And uh, what happens is when I push this meter down, this little test foot will travel across or slide across the surface and give us a measurement of the friction, the dynamic coefficient of friction. So I'm going to use this meter on each one of these surfaces and we'll look and see uh, how the uh, decoff changes. Uh, if we're going to use or measure in terms of national standards then we need to use a, um, a solution that's an SLS solution. It's a mixture of distilled water and uh, like a surfactant. It's basically a, like a soapy water. Again, giving us a much more realistic uh, or representative test method. So I'll wet an area, I will measure it with this uh, meter, and uh, we're looking for the higher the number, the better uh, the slip resistance. Right? If it has a low decoff, that means it's very slippery. If it has a high, it's much uh, more slip resistant. Uh, most standards we're looking around about about a 0.4 uh, and anything higher than a 0.4 uh, is ideal. I'm just wetting this first area so this is a um, this is unsealed so this is the first area you can see because the paver is very porous that the uh, test solution is just soaking right in so uh, I don't think it's going to be too slippery, but let's take a look. You can see it's 0.769, so very high decoff. That's on the paver that uh, has no sealer on it. Okay, let's try it again now. I'm going to do the area that we have the color stain on. This is our cover color stain uh, mixed in with our wet look sealer. Let's have a look at that again. Make a nice liberal amount of the test solution. Let's put it on there. Let's repeat it. One, one, one. Push down. And you can see it's gone down, but it's still pretty high, 0.519. So sealing the uh, uh, paver with that color shot, we still have good slip resistance, but uh, we've certainly reduced it from uh, its original position. Okay, so now we'll move on to this area here. So this is the solvent sealer.
So um, when we did our measurements, we see that the solvent-based sealer is more slippery than the water-based urethane. Uh, that's typical because the solvent is a, a heavier or a thicker type sealer, uh, tends to sit more to the surface, keeps the water uh, on the surface so that you tend to slide more. The water-based uh, strong seal wet look is a concentrate, but we dilute that so it soaks into the surface, doesn't leave as thick a film uh, on the surface. So that's why you see the difference of uh, you know 0.3 versus 0.5 uh, in our test results. So now we're looking at the Glaze Guard Plus. So this is a sealer. Uh, paver sealer, a concrete sealer that we can use that has already in it a additive, a non-slip additive. It's our cover grip additive. The reading there is 0.522. Yeah, let's try it in a different direction, different area. Okay, so let's just do this last section on these concrete pavers. Now you see we've got the penetrating sealer here. See how the water uh, sits on the surface rather than soak in. It's been sealed, but you can't mm -hmm. tell from looking at it. Okay, so let's do a test there and see what the results are. See, that also has pretty high slip resistance, 0.566, okay? So you have two options here if you want to keep that, seal the sealer, but still maintain some good slip resistance. You can use a uh, sealer that has an additive in it, or you can use a penetrating sealer like the uh, Premium. Okay, this go around, I'm looking at travertine pavers. And again, we're looking to see what impact the sealer has on the slipperiness of the uh, paper when you seal it. Uh, I have three uh, pavers here, travertine pavers. I've got different combinations of sealers, and I'm going to measure the slipperiness or the slip resistance using this uh, slip meter, which measures the dynamic coefficient of friction. And I'm using as my solution this SLS solution it's a soapy solution so i can really test the slippery when wet condition okay the first uh, paper i have here is uh, unsealed half of it's unsealed and this half is sealed with our glaze guard plus that has a anti-slip additive our grip guard or our grip cover grip uh, product in there um, this sealer, uh, this paver has been, half of it's been sealed with a solvent sealer. Again, something you'd get uh, from a big box store. And then this is a penetrating sealer, our premium sealer. And then this last uh, uh, paver slab here, uh, Travertine. Actually, we've treated it with the surface grip treat. This is our anti-slip treatment, no sealer. And then this is our anti-slip treatment, the grip treat with our premium penetrating sealer. And it's going to be interesting to see how, uh, uh, what impact that has on the slip resistance. Okay, so this is the unsealed section of the Travertil tile. I've recalibrated my meter, so I'm going to start that. 
Okay, that's point four. Let's try another. So that untreated section was below point four, which, uh, you know, is not great. Really needs some kind of treatment to it. So let's look at this. This is with the Glaze Guard Plus. Let's see what we get with that. Um, start this thing again. Point four four. So we've got a acceptable situation with the Glaze Guard Plus. It's about point four two. Yeah. So that has a decal for point two six seven. So that's very low. That's almost like an ice skating ring. So definitely uh, sealing that travertine with a solvent-based sealer has made that very slippery. Okay, so we're getting a reading of 0.36 there, so below the 0.4. So that's still slippery, uh, and uh, I think, again, because that tile is very dense, the sealer, the penetrating sealer is keeping the water at the top of the surface, and still creating a slippery condition. It's not as slippery as the solvent, um, uh, the solvented sealer, but it's still classified as slippery. So this is an interesting situation. So this is the same uh, travertine tile, and we've treated half of it with our grip treat. So we can compare the uh, slipperiness of this versus an untreated or no sealed section. And then I've done another area uh, with our premium. Grip treated it and then put the premium. And we'll see what results we get. Point five one three, so pretty high uh, slip resistance there. When wet, we'll try another area. Make sure it's still in the solution. Don't think it is. One more time. Point four nine nine, almost point five. So we're above that uh, point uh, four mark with our uh, grip treat. So this is the last area we're doing. This is with the um, travertine again, treated with the surface treat and sealed with the premium. Let's see what we get here. Okay. So we're going to do C, one, one. So we've got a very high reading there as well. Uh, and uh, so that's been treated with the grip treat and then sealed with the uh, premium. So that would be a very effective way of sealing a uh, travertine tile uh, and maintain a very high slip resistance. The other 
option is to use a sealer that has some grid in it, some anti-slip, and uh, that'll give you a bit more of a shine. But as we saw from our results, uh, the highest slip resistance was achieved uh, using the uh, grip treat and the premium sealer.